troopers. We're back at the ITM 4x4 garage. Let's have a look at this crazy trooper. Isn't that sick? Sorry for the bad images. We got a lot of light coming in from outside. Just filming this uh, laptop screen here. Just some pictures you can download on the internet when you uh, search out, uh, you know, just goggle yourself some uh, Zuzu Trooper. Um, You'll get some pretty crazy pictures from across the world, a lot of uh, straight axle uh, suspension swaps. I mean, the, the body lift on this thing, you can't quite see it. He's rock guard at the bottom of the fenders here. So these are stock fenders, and that's a stock apron running in front. He's got the 86 grill in there, and uh, definitely looks like a pretty strong body lift and suspension lift on that thing. That's about as big a trooper as I've ever seen. Um, Anyways, so today we're going to talk about uh, your O2 sensor and replacing it and turning the O2 sensor light off on the dash. Um, so if I, uh, if I just whip out the old Haynes manual here, they cover it really quickly and simply. It's, uh, it's pretty fast and dirty. So what we're doing here is we're looking at this um, situation on the dash. Okay, I know it kind of looks like a distributor. The, f the video camera is not going to let me see that font for you, unfortunately. But if you pull out uh, your uh, speedometer with your OD gauge in there and you flip it over, you're going to have to remove the OD uh, cable from the back, but when you flip it over, there's a switch down in the lower left-hand corner here. So let's go have a look at it in the truck. I got it all pulled apart so we can have a look. I'm tired of working on these plastic things. Um, so <clears throat> let's have a look at the old 91. All right, this is Goldie. Uh, Goldie got uh, an engine swap recently but uh, we didn't uh, reset the gauge. Um, the O2 light was off on the dash, so, so it was like, sorry, it was always on, and uh, it needed to be reset. So when you pull this gauge out, right, you just got uh, to get your, your gauge ABS uh, surround off. You got these four little hex here, right? They're not so bad. Get those out, there's two Phillips head screws holding in this gauge. And I'll just show you how I get that cable off, okay? So I just reach my hand underneath here, get it up in the dash. And then from the top here, you can see my hand coming up, and you can see the gauge right here. There are the cable for the gauge, and right here is a press tab. So you just press that and pull it off. And then on the back of the gauge, as you remember from the picture, kind of looks like a little distributor. And down in this corner is this little switch. So you're just going to flick the switch to the opposite position. Right? And once you do that, it's going to reset the timer, and in another 90,000 kilometers, your O2 light is going to come on, and that's it. It's a static manual thing. When the O2 dies, it's not going to make this light go off. It's literally set on a 90,000 K timer. Anyways, I hope that helps. It's pretty easy to do. You can put your gauges back together in a couple minutes. Later, troopers. Keep the rubber side down.